Hey, good morning and thanks for joining me. You know, I'm always looking for content and I thought what I might start doing is Talking Tuesdays. Although, this morning I'm kind of thinking maybe Traffic Jam Tuesdays. Welcome back again. I'm so glad you could make it. I really appreciate you showing up. So, what I decided I'm going to try and do is we're going to talk about a, a subject, a different subject, every Tuesday. And this morning's subject is the real biker. Watched the video the other day on what makes a real biker. So when it comes to judging other people, figuring out who else is a real biker, here's the thing. You know, it seems for a community that prides itself on freedom, there's a lot of wanting others to look like you, to dress like you, to think like you, to ride like you, to ride what you ride, etc. To be just like you. And since we're people, it doesn't really work. People are going to be different. You know, I've tossed this around in my head quite a while. Really not so much from the standpoint of figuring out who else is a real biker, but really for my own benefit. I wouldn't want to call myself a cowboy if I wasn't a cowboy. I don't want to consider myself a biker if I'm not a biker. So it's important to know what that means. So I know there are people who are like, well, labels are stupid. And yeah, that's true. Especially if you start grouping people together and giving them a label. You're just inviting yourself to be wrong. Because people are different. But let's kick this horse just one more time and see if it moves. Real bikers. It might be easiest, I think, from my perspective, and this is all my opinion, you can have your own opinion, and we'll still be okay. It's almost easier to talk about what doesn't make a real biker. And the first thing that comes to mind is fashion. You know, a lot of people think you throw on biker clothes and that makes you a biker. But I can wear a cowboy hat, it doesn't make me a cowboy. If I put on a fireman's suit, it makes me one of the village people, not a fireman. Just because I throw on leathers or my Harley Davidson t-shirt, doesn't make me a biker. Doesn't matter how many do-rags I have, doesn't matter how many skull tattoos I have across my forehead or my arm or whatever. It's not about how you look. From my perspective, and again, this is my opinion, now I may not have a need to win society's approval. I'm not here for any popularity contests. But at the same time, just because I'm a biker, doesn't mean that I have to piss everybody off. It's not my job. It's not my goal. I don't want to offend everybody. I just want to live my life. Chances are good I can do that and still offend people. Might be offending people now. Half of them might be bikers. So it's not really about how obnoxious I can be or how loudmouthed, what a bully I can be. But you know, the coolest people that we've ever seen and the strongest people that we've ever met are usually the ones that don't have to convince anybody that they're cool and strong because it's part of them and it shows it's just you can't see it you more more feel it than anything else just pulled behind a car that was a Ford Fusion and I looked up real quick and I thought it said Ford Prison and I thought that's a weird name for a car hello you know if you're a biker same thing When I walk into a place, it's not the guy who's trying to convince everybody how bad he is that holds my attention. It's usually the guy who's sitting over off to the side and is quiet, doesn't have to convince anybody how bad he is. I mean, that might be easier for me to say because I'm not a badass anyways, not in that sense. So that doesn't make me a biker. You know, I know people who don't look like bikers. They look like maybe small store owners who have lived a lifetime in the motorcycle world and they've really devoted themselves to this machine and they are more bikerly than I will ever be. I know guys who look on the surface like hipsters and you know hipsters are really given a hard time but they may look like hipsters you know they got the beard the flannel shirts but these guys build their own motorcycles in their garage and then they get out and they ride them until the wheels almost fall off. I just have great respect for them. They're bikers, man. They love motorcycles. I know people who have gone out and spent a lot of money on motorcycles and then not long after got rid of them 
because they're too busy or they're spooked off of them or whatever the case may be. And honestly, you know, that's up to them. That's, that, I don't care. They can ride cars. I don't hold that against people. But I wouldn't consider them bikers because it's not in their blood. It's clearly not in their blood. And that, I think, boils down to what a biker is. It's a love for riding. You know, if you love motorcycles that much, it's going to come out. You're going to ride. And you're going to spend a very long time. It's going to ooze out of you. You're going to spend a lifetime of riding. You might even learn to build your own. Maybe, maybe not. But it's something you can't change because it's part of you. Maybe you'll just spend a very long time sitting in traffic. You know, I'd rather be on my bike in a rainstorm than in a car on my way. I think that makes me a biker. At the end of the day, it all comes down to riding. How much you ride? I mean, technically I own a car, but only on paperwork, it's really my wife's. Going back to labels, you know, when I was a, a young man, you know, I was really hesitant coming out of teenage years to call myself a man. I just kind of, you know, I didn't really understand what it meant. So I was uncomfortable claiming something that I didn't own. Then after I made my way and did what I had to do and started doing all the right things, and you know, I had no problem with it. You know, today I'm pretty comfortable calling myself a biker. Because I ride. I plan on riding for the rest of my life, as long as I physically can, maybe then some. Today I'm a sit in really slow traffic on the back of two wheels guy. So yeah, look, no, I, I'm, I don't try to go out of my way to be obnoxious. But you know, when somebody races up to cut in front of me, and they end up getting behind me instead, I just feel compelled to let everybody in front of me into traffic. But I do have a vindictive side. So let me know what you think. What makes a real biker? What doesn't make a real biker? Leave comments below and let me know. I'm validly interested in hearing. By all means, subscribe to the channel. Got a lot of stuff coming up. Got a lot of, a lot of other videos coming up. Uh, I need to do some photography videos that I've kind of been putting off. Uh, I want to talk about some of the lenses I use. Uh, some other things going on. We've got Daytona coming up. Daytona Bike Week in... Man, a couple weeks. I actually have to hurry up and rent the campsite. I'm going to go camping down there for a few days. And that should be awesome. I'll take you around Daytona Bike Week. Once again, thanks for joining me. I appreciate you being here. I really appreciate your support. It's, uh, you know, that's really the goal, I guess. I'm just looking to put out content that you're enjoying. And that's it. I will see you next time. Thanks again. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Oh, and let me know what you think about this Talking Tuesday idea. The more I think about it, the more I'm excited I get about it. This should be good. Topical Tuesday, huh? Or as today went, Traffic Jam Tuesday. Hopefully that's not every week. Man, I hope the breakfast truck is at work. Stuffed hash brown? Oh, yes, please.